In this video we will compare the code completion capability of Google Bard AI with ChatGPT. In the last video we compared Bard with OpenAI's code interpreter, and Bard totally failed against that. This time I will compare Bard with ChatGPT and not with ChatGPT 3.5 or 4 but with ChatGPT 3. Using ChatGPT 3 I generated a code and that worked very well. I did that in another video and I will briefly explain that here, and then I will ask Bard to do the same task. The task is related to generating Google Apps script code for Google Sheet. In a Google Sheet, we have data of clients, and we want to send automatic email with a Zoom link, for a meeting on the time specified. Not just that, we want to send a customized PDF of invitation letter from a Google Doc template. In this template we want to replace this field, today, with today's date and the other fields like the first and the last name from the sheet data. This meeting time will also be replaced by the time from the sheet. And here should be the Zoom link. I will now show you the prompt I gave to ChatGPT3 as input and then I will give the same to Bard. In the prompt I first described the headers of the Google Sheet. Then I mentioned about the Google Doc template for the invitation letter. Here I am mentioning to replace the specified text with the data from the sheet. Then save that as PDF. And finally attach that PDF with email to send to the client's email address. I asked to generate the Google Apps script code for this. When I provided this prompt to ChatGPT3 it generated the code which worked seamlessly. I have shown that detailed on the other video which you can find in the description. I will copy the complete prompt and let's test the BARD capability. Before that, just to mention here, I will also provide the link to the code generated by ChatGPT3. Let's provide the same prompt to BARD. It's generating the code. Let's copy it and test this with the Google Sheet. Here we need to provide the ID of the template doc. Bard has also explained this part and mentioned how to get the ID of the doc from doc URL. Let's copy the ID and provide that in the script. Here in the code, it is getting the data from sheet. Here it is replacing the text of doc template with sheet data. Then it is converting that to PDF and emailing that. By the way, I am doubtful if this is the correct way of saving the doc as PDF. Anyways let's run the code and see the result. Oh, we have an error. The error is on utilities.format date. It is used here to get today's date. This is quite disappointing since getting today's date with Google Apps Script should not be that difficult. Let's see how this was done in the code generated by ChatGPT3. And this is the correct way. Let's copy this from here. Let's try this another time. Again we have error but this time it is different. Now this is on replace text method of document app. Here is the code and the error says that correct signature is not used. The method replace text is applied on the template document. If we see the working code generated by ChatGPT3, the correct way is to get the body of the document and then apply the replace text method on it. Again this is quite disappointing. Let's test the debugging capability of the BARD. We will provide it the error statement to see if it can correct it. It has generated the code again. But see that the code still has the same issue. But I will give it a try. Let's replace the date code part with correct code. And provide the ID of the doc. As expected, we have the error. So I am not impressed with the coding capabilities of Bard. It is nowhere near to open AI chat GPT. We compared it with ChatGPT3 and not with the latest version of ChatGPT, and Bard totally failed. However, for other cases Bard can capture the market since Google has numerous applications and billions of users using these applications. So an AI tool that can directly integrate with these applications can be a big success, but as far as code generation is concerned, ChatGPT is the obvious winner. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.